Hi there and welcome back to Triplicate and we had a look at the old boat battery charger in the previous video in this series and took it apart and uh, found a burnt bit and here is hopefully the new battery charger which claims 7 stage, claims 20,000 milliamps or 20 amps to you and me uh, suits large deep cycle battery, well that's us I have just open the lid to check there is in it what it claims to be but I haven't actually taken it out of the box yet and there it is and there it is pull it out of its protective bubble wrap got a manual and mains lead and the mains plug, UK mains plug, and two clips so you can clip it onto a battery. Now I don't want to do that for preference. I want to connect it di directly in via a fuse. Now, and the wires don't come out of those clips, and I don't want to chop the wires off the clips in case it doesn't do the job we want. And I want to sell it on. So let us go and have a look in the electrics cupboard and see if we can figure out how to connect it up. Right, so this is the electrics cupboard and it's a little bit tight in here, hence the funny camera angle. So this guy is what we've been using for a battery charger, which is old. The amps are, it's actually a decent make, but I don't really want to leave it on all the time. It'll drink juice, I suspect. It's a heavy thing with a transformer in, but it's done the job for a few weeks. And it has actually got up to 13 volts, I notice, on the voltmeter here. But first thing we need to do is remove this. Now, this goes to this connector block which goes into the get rid of that fuse panel take the top off the fuse panel and this fuse here is between this red wire and the battery so we'll take that out so we can't well blow the fuse so if I do this now, nothing happens. Good. So we need a screwdriver. And let's get rid of this one. Now, the problem is, can you see that? That wire is soldered onto that clip, and I don't want to jump the clip off yet, in case for whatever reason it won't do the job. We need to do, and I need to put it on eBay, so I need to come up with some means of connecting these clips Ooh, clunk, that didn't sound good to these wires without shorting together and without falling off so I will have a look in my box of electrical bits and see what I can come up with okay so we have a ring terminal and a bullet and we want to find what these clips are going to clip onto best 
I think since they have you can see that they clip on reasonably securely to a bullet and about hmm kinda I think we're gonna for now go with bullets that, that seems to be reasonably tight fit and then we're going to have to put some insulation around so it all shorting together so I am going to put two bullets on the ends of these wires which means I need to get the toolbox out and find the crimpers okay so uh, some advice from triplicate if you do using these uh, red, blue, yellow insulated connectors, the colour is for this, indicates the size of wire that goes in there. Use ratchet crimp connectors like these. These are Draper and the writing's worn off because I wired up the whole of the boat with these uh, and I've not had any trouble whereas the usually red handle just like scissor ones are rubbish. You will not crimp your crimps properly using those, I promise you. Right, anyway. Let's get these bullets on. Let's wire it a bit. Chewed up. What have I done with it? And another piece of advice. Uh, can you? You should be able to see that. That is tin plated, uh, multi strand tin plated, always use tin plated wire in marine and automotive applications as well, it's a lot less prone to corrosion than this, don't know where this came from, but that's just straight copper, but since this is just a temporary hookup for the battery charger, I'm not going to worry, but yep, some more advice, tinned copper, a bit more expensive, a lot more corrosion resistant. Right, that's in there. Select the blue one, the middle one, line it up so that's just poking out of there. Give it a crimp. Crimp connectors, tug test. If it's a bad connection, chances are it will just pull out when you tug it. My film in my head here. Right, try a slightly different camera angle in the hopes I get less of the back of my head in which I'm sure you do not want to look at all right there we go it's the other one doing you see these you can just see these yellow ones with big wires in having to stand put them in the crimper and stand on the end of the crimper to get them to crimp and as I say reliable right we are going to Try and put this so you can all see the LEDs. That'll do. Oh, crash. Right. So, connect it up. two 
Here's the little fuse. So, time to go. I uh, just had a quick look at the manual and it says Ensure all vehicle accessories including light seated appliances are turned off prior to charging. Oh dear, that's exactly what we want to do is have things turned on while we're charging. Oh well, it says it's protected for this, that and the other. So, uh, here's the fuse. Let's turn the power on and see what happens. Well, there's a power on light which isn't on. Yeah. So, let's have a look at the back. Oh, there's an on switch. Dang. That's good, yeah, and ooh, look at that. Power on, and it did a fancy self-check thingy. So let's put this fuse into here. Oh, it's another digga digga digga. Right. I can't read that. Four. Let the manual tell us what these are. Four. Absorption. Three. Bolt charge. Rapid charge. Four, absorption, finishing charge. Five, battery test. So it is 13, 14 volts. Well, hmm. Let us turn the cabin lights on. <laughs> Draw a bit of current. Oh, it's still doing the... Absorption... Phase... And it's showing 13.96, which is plenty charged. Oh well, let's leave it to run and see what happens. Oh, one thing I want to test is if I, because quite possibly the mains might get turned off. The sure supply shuts off. Oh yes, the fridge is turned on. Goes down to 12.3 volts. Let's turn her back on again. Yep. Whoop. Right, it's now saying bulk charge, I think. Oh. The float, and everything's gone off. And it's down to 12. That would imply that it's disconnected, the fuse is blown. Right, yep, 10 amp fuse, battery charger claiming to be 20 amps. So, let's put a 25 amp fuse in and see what happens. Right, so the fridge has come on, I've got all the lights on, and it's bulk charging, three, bulk charging, rapid charge, oh, and it's gone on to four, because it's got up to 13.7 volts, finishing charge.
Well, seems to be all right so far. I think I'm just going to have to leave it connected up and see if it uh, gets upset. I mean, when we leave the boat, we turn all the electrics off anyway, so it will do what it's expecting to do. Okay, so that seems to be working very nicely. We're going to go away. We're back here next weekend, so we'll see how it's gone then. But so far, I'm happy with it, and that uh, means of separating the wires by putting the multimeter down there and there it is it's not getting hot or anything so okay so we've been on the boat overnight and when we got here it was uh, fully charged it said there and now it's on and now it's switched to the end there which is float I am going to get the manual out and have a look and it's down to a more sensible 13.1 volts uh, I don't know recondition I think I'm gonna go with it I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, crimp some chop these plugs off and crimp some female bullets on screw it to the battery charger spot just there and uh, yeah see how it goes and I'm gonna have to do that off camera because I realize I haven't brought any sort of camera stand or clamp or anything and I can't do it one-handed so okay so in the end what I've done is I've chop these off just by the the back of the clip so if I want to put these back on and because I have to sell it on because it's fine it's not doing the job then I can just solder the existing ends of the wire on and we lose what two centimeters nobody will notice and I've gone straight to soldering ring terminals on there which go on the fuse box here and again, I shall wire this all up. I shall screw this. Oh, sorry about the shaky gun up there, so I can see the little display at the top. And when I've done that, we'll have a look. Well, there you go. She's in. Wiring's tidy-ish. Turned it back on, so it's going through its charge cycle. But it should go through pretty quick, uh, since the batteries are pretty much charged up and a bit of a mess to tidy up but apart from that uh we could so that will be it if it works as i wish um and this will be the last boat battery charger video if we have some sort of problem with it then there will be more boat battery charger videos but uh until then or not it is goodbye from triplicate Goodbye. Winter finally arrives at Triplicate Towers on the 8th of March. Hey ho.